Well, my name is Tracy Blackmer, and I'm the one who started the Iowa Gardening for Good project. It's a 501c3, and really is trying to do three things. It's trying to grow food for the food pantries, grow fresh produce so they can have it. The second thing is trying to teach people where their food comes from. So we have a lot of people in Iowa that are at least one generation from really a farm and they don't even know how a lot of their food is grown. And the third thing is, is we want to provide a system where people can do service. So Iowa Gardening for Good is trying to get volunteers out here to help grow produce that we can do donate to the food pantries. We got involved with uh, Gardening for Good uh, three or four years ago uh, through the junkyard. Uh, went out there with a group of middle schoolers on the weekend. Uh, after spending some time at the Bidwell house, uh, handing the produce out to the families that need it, we had the opportunity to go out and uh, work with Tracy and see where the produce comes from. Uh, one of my daughters was with us on the trip and, and between the two of us we decided that was something that as a family we needed to get involved in and so uh, that, was, that was a starting point for our involvement at the garden. I've been learning that stuff that God wants us to do is not always the easiest thing, it's the stuff that helps the most. And I've also learned that there is a ton of different types of weeds. One of the big things that Tracy does is he gives people an opportunity to serve, creates that atmosphere. And it's never, whatever you do out there, he's just uh, thankful that you did it. And last time we were out there, we were picking peppers and all of a sudden I looked and there weren't any of the kids around. And I looked over there and they're all over there with uh, Tracy cutting a watermelon up and eating watermelon together. So he just got a heart to serve. He just hangs out when we do a bonfire after and just gotten to know him. I'm not sure how much in Iowa people truly starve to death, but I think there's a lot of people that don't have access to healthy foods. But to me, it has become crystal clear, it's ridiculous that we can't get enough fresh produce for people to eat in Iowa. It doesn't take very much land to grow more food than what everyone in Iowa would need to eat, at least during the summer months. So learning how to do that, but also just getting the people to come. Because our recruitment is really, we don't have a recruiting program. For the most part, it's people that come. And then they tend to come back and maybe bring others into there. So I think the, the idea of doing something that's helpful, but then we're teaching others to serve too. And that's one of the biggest things I hear from a lot of the parents and other leaders is they want their kids to understand what it is to serve. It's a meaningful way to, to serve the community uh, just because we've experienced handing out the food on the other end. It, it really helps to, to making it more meaningful and um, going out there as a family, uh, it just gives us another chance to bond and, and do things together. I feel like it's very important that we help people who are less fortunate because they, ha they have trouble helping themselves because they don't have the resources to do so. Just the uh, family experience of being out here and serving and just seeing my, the joy in my kids and having a bonfire, having s'mores. So it's been like a family vacation out there and serving and just seeing the kids grow and how like, oh, that's where a pepper comes from or just that learning the whole where food comes from and the process of getting it. So it's just been uh, great. And as you get with kids and stuff busy, uh, going out there with other families, they're all playing together. And it's a chance for the uh, adults every week, couple weeks just to check in on each other and seeing how things are going. Several years ago, I took a buyout from full-time career, professional type job, just to make this project happen. Because I truly believe that most people want to serve and to help, they need someone to help connect the dots to make it happen for them.